Get ready with us, our updated beauty routine. It has been four years since our last video. We last did this in 2020, so yeah, it's, it's crazy. been a while. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. So I still always start with my eyes. I'm going to be starting with some skin prep now that I didn't used to do before. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do my skin prep too. So I'm going to go in with the Rose Beauty lip treatment to get my lips nice and hydrated. Beautiful. How do you like Rose Beauty? I like it because um, my skin's very sensitive and I just feel like it just doesn't make me break out. Mm -hmm. And I was not really using skincare at all until recently. And her moisturizer. What do you use now? Well, for skin, skin prep, I actually do do skin prep, but I normally do it after I do my eyes. But since you're doing skin prep, I'm gonna be doing skin prep. So first thing, <laughs> I. Hmm, but I do wash my face after this too. But it's oh, okay. Yeah. I put on oil. Normally, what I would do is I put on oil and then I do my gua sha is what I do um so then that way and I leave the oil on while I'm doing my eyes the whole time kind of and then I walk so it like really soaks into my skin to hydrate and then I wash my face um like just my face part and then put on my moisturizer but for this video I think I'm just going to put on my moisturizer I've just been using the La Roche um moisturizer and I'm almost out I actually used to like never really use moisturizer. <laughs> Me either, and I feel like it's such a necessity. Like every makeup influencer will tell you that you have to do skin prep or your foundation just doesn't go on that nice. So I've been trying to really do it. I did notice, yeah, my foundation looks like crud if I don't moisturize my face. And like it really just needs to soak in. Um, I also feel like my foundation is pretty drying now, the one that I use. So my other road beauty that I'm going to go in with is the peptide glazing fluid and that'll just give a nice glazing primer for your foundation and make it look shiny. So basically just to get, if it's the oil or moisturizer in, I just use this like stainless steel gua sha and I also feel like it's... Is it cooling? Yeah, it it's cooling. So good in the I like the ice rollers too, but I kind of try to stop using them because I feel like they're like too harsh. But this is nice because I feel like it really sculpts my face. I notice a difference. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I think there's a difference. I'm sure it does. Anything else? Um, my last thing is I'm going to go in with the grip primer. So this is actually a holding primer for my foundation. So I don't put primer on until right before I put on my foundation. Once this, after this, like all like really soaks in. I'm going quick. <laughs> Morgan's routine is definitely I'm like, like a lot less than. Well, your skincare is more than mine, but I think you're quicker at getting ready. That's true. Yeah, I don't take very long. I used to take like two hours. I have gotten down like a 15 minute makeup routine like before work and then I also got my makeup routine down to like an hour 45 minutes to an hour if I'm doing like a full beat wow that's way shorter <laughs> an hour is long I think mine takes like for my full glam it's like 20 minutes total oh my gosh <laughs> well my full glam used to literally be like two hours <laughs> so, so I'm pretty proud of myself that is so crazy well I'm gonna start on my foundation and then I'm going to start on my eyes. Oh, that's right. So we're going to be doing opposites. No, do you know what? I will do eye first. Are I you sure? Do yeah. I do need to be doing that. Sometimes I like do it both ways, but I feel like I do always like how it comes out. It's just like a habit that I need to beat. I just like it because then it, um, like I can get rid of any fallout. Like it doesn't sit on my face. Yeah, I think that is why it's better, honestly. So the most important thing for my eyeshadow is putting on my... Um, eyeshadow primer. I like to use the Too Faced one. Um, I, without the primer, it literally, my eyes get so like greasy, I feel like. Mm, yeah. And then the eyeshadow doesn't stay all night. I'm just going to go in with my Shape Tape Contour Concealer and start above the eyebrow and then blend it down. So 
So, I feel like so much has changed in four years. It um, has. We now live really close to each other again. Within 20 minutes of each other. Which is pretty much exactly how far we lived away from each other when we were in Pennsylvania. 20, 30 minutes, I feel. Yeah. Um, so crazy. So that's perfect. <laughs> We've, well, Morgan only made one move. I've made like three moves oh, since the yeah. last video together. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true, I didn't even think about that. Which is also new. But all in the same state. Yes, yeah. But moving is hard. We're in the process of moving here still. So. Um, I am going to be putting eyeshadow from the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. I get this one every year on my birthday, like one of the Pumpkin Spice palettes. Honestly, this is like really embarrassing. Like this is what it looks like right now. It's very, you can tell what I like. Oh, I used to have that one. <laughs> it's so I cute. I loved it. Oh yeah, that is really cute. Good. It's very messy. Yeah. And I use- That is a good one. I always use the same shades. Like I don't really, I hate glitter shades, so I never use oh, those yeah. ones. I think they're ugly. Shades. <laughs> They're ugly. <laughs> Let me just taste my eyeshadow. No, it's okay. No, Morgan's <laughs> eyeshadow always looks pretty. For me, I'm like, I feel like I'm still like in that 2016 like beat where everything was matte. Yeah. I actually did for our engagement photos, I did matte eyeshadow, and for our wedding, I did some glitter because I was like, oh, it's our wedding. We have to. You know, yeah. gotta do glitter. I actually like the matte a little bit better, I think. I like it better. And then I only but put glitter in the little glitter. corners. Oh, true. So, yeah. But it's usually like a white glitter. So I forgot my normal setting powder, which is the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom. Do you have it? I don't have the cherry blossom one. Oh. I have the like the banana one. I like my bar a lot. But I do <laughs> have my Charlotte Tilbury um I don't even know what the color is. It just says two medium, but this is good setting powder for like around the face. So I'm just gonna use that for my eyes for now and I'll use Eleni's for under my eye. But normally I use the cherry for under my eye. From the Too Faced palette, I'm using Everything Nice, the shade Everything Nice, to put, to like sweep it all over my lid. It's just like a really, so I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Nude Mood, and they just have a bunch of pretty nude colors in this palette. I usually like to go for brown, so I've always kind of stayed true to that. Um, sometimes I use my bronzer too as like a brown shade. Yeah, the bronzer shade honestly is like the perfect brown, especially if I'm not yeah. doing eyeshadow, I do that. Then I use the shade Sip Sip Hooray to kind of like sweep that over my crease. Um, or like this like little crease corner spot. And then, yeah, I'm going in with a shade All Natural. It's a pretty neutral brown shade. So now I use like this type of brush. Oh, sorry guys. Um, and then I put it in the Spice Tacular shade. And this is when I start doing my corners. Um, so I kinda almost do like eyeliner with my eyeshadow in the corners. Um, and I just, do this. I honestly, I don't really do um, a very crafted job, but it turns out great in the end. Yeah, you, your eyeshadow always does look really good. Thank you. So I'm gonna create a little cut crease in my corner of my eye with my contour. And I'm gonna use the mirror for this so it looks precise. Yeah, my eyeshadow has to be the least bit precise. Like I'll literally have fallout like down to here and then um, one time when I was dressing up as a scary clown my friend was like oh that looks really good and I was like what do you mean my like I have to get rid of all of this and she's like for the clown and I was like that would be a good idea I don't know why I didn't do that just leave like I should have done my foundation then my eyeshadow and left the fallout okay. so now I'm using the shade serving looks to kind of just soften this up I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. So I'm gonna mix together the uh, cocoa and bluffin. But we got matching outfits. Hopefully to win. <laughs> Remember when everyone either thought we were actually twins or sisters or we were yes. lesbians and we actually got married. Yes, it was one or the other. We did play into that though, it was hilarious. And I feel like whenever we were would go out together, we would always tell people that. Oh, always. people would ask they us. They believed us. Yeah. Because we would they dress would the same. Us. We would literally wear the exact same outfits or the yeah. same colors. 
We always co coordinate when going out. Whoopsies. Who is that? I don't know. It's, it's honest. Honestly, Melanie's so popular. <laughs> She's got so many people calling her. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I didn't pack that well because I also forgot my eyeliner, my liquid black eyeliner. Well, Do you have some mine. money? And that, my black eyeliner, I always get it like cheap. Oh, same. From. I bet <laughs> I feel like they're one. all the same. They are the same. That and like cheapo mascara is the same if I'm not, if because so, I wear lashes, I don't really care about this. This is mascara. a Lenny's Revlon Color Stay. I just bought like Korean skincare moisturizer with sunscreen in it to try. How is it? I was influenced. Um, it's been good so far. It's like 50 SPF, but the thing I like about it is that it goes on like so smoothly and like doesn't leave like a layer on your skin of that's nice. anything. Yeah. Because that's always been my problem with sunscreen. Yeah, I don't like sunscreen. It's like when you put it on your face, it just... You can see it. I feel like it changes how your makeup looks. It does. It does. I wear sunscreen when I'm not wearing makeup and truly... I don't really wear makeup that much anymore. Yeah, I've been good about not wearing a lot of makeup. Yeah, I am. Only when I'm like going out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even go out. <laughs> I try and do that. Sometimes I do like to just like, I've been going into this world of like wanting to do different makeup, mm -hmm. like try different makeup. Like for the first time ever, I had headshots done and I did my own makeup, which was like shocking for me. Like I never trusted myself to do my own makeup. You do your makeup good. I like genuinely like how you do your makeup. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going in with my Lisa Frank palette. Um, this one has like a million colors and I really only use this palette for the black because the black shade in my Too Faced palette is no more. So now I'm using this black one. And it's called. And then I just use like a really pointy, not pointy, but like thin brush to tip it in the black. And then I put this on the outer corners. I'm hungry. We're making food later, by the way. Yes. And drinks. Will be delish. We're just gonna have a total girls' day. It is. And it's, do it's the best. Living the dream. Now that Morgan lives here. It's literally like amazing because we can do whatever we want now instead of having to cram it all in yes. in a weekend. Okay, so this is what my eyeshadow looks like. So very rough. It's trust the process. Um well, I live 15 minutes away from the beach now, which is amazing. Yeah. As Morgan knows. Um, been busy working and getting a lot of new clients, which I love. And <laughs> yeah, been a real wrestling fan. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the newest. <laughs> yeah, I feel like life has just been really chill. Like we just yeah, we're not um, crazy anymore. Yeah, we're not crazy. <laughs> kind of just slowed down and. Just, we like, oh, we went to go see some movies recently. Yeah, oh my gosh, Challengers. We've been about having, yeah, we have Challengers. Great movie. So good. And a scary movie, Tarot. Yeah, not about the scary movie. No, it was good, but I like Challengers a lot. I get so scared now from scary movies. <laughs> I mean, Morgan watched a scary movie. I didn't used to be scared at all, and now I'm so scared. It's, it's great. As you get older, you just get scared. So, I'm going to start with my... Mascara, and this is a Cleanopia mascara. Again, CoverGirl cheap drugstore mascara. All right, so basically, I just take a makeup wipe. Um, I don't even use makeup wipes anymore, except literally for this. Hence why I have to wet it, but because they're so dried out, I just take a ma makeup wipe and clean under my eyes because that was that was rough. I don't let um, boys see me get ready before I clean this part of my eye because I look <laughs> scary. <laughs> I might be. One more mascara. I'm gonna go in with the vol Voluminous. I am like not pronouncing anything right today. Um, you mean speech therapy? Brown foam, yeah. Honey, help me. I'll help you, don't worry.
All right, so now I'm gonna take um, my eyelet <coughs> eyeliner, the same one, Revlon, and line my eyes. So we did our eyeliner, well, I did my eyeliner, and we both did our lashes off camera. They look so good. Lovely. <laughs> I definitely use way shorter lashes than I used to use. Um, I feel like everyone is though. Yeah, no, for sure. So anyways, now I'm gonna do my primer. I'm gonna do one more hydration primer since I would normally do this, but since we let some time go and I forgot I was doing my um, eyes first. So I'm gonna go in, this is the Road Glazing Melt. So that will just bring some hydration back since all my hydration is set. I've been using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer because I was definitely influenced. I really like it. It's like glue. Um, but before I started using that, my go-to always has been um, the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, this it's one is like really good. Too. But the Power Grip Primer, I'm not gonna lie, is like, like it's like glue. I like to use a lot. Oh, yeah, you do use a lot. Well, well, we live in Florida. That's true. Yeah, our makeup basically like melts off here if you don't do it good. It's, we live by the beach too, so it's like extra humid, extra hot. It's like 100 degrees. I had to change how I curled my hair too. I used to just curl my hair, put some spray in it, and be good. Now I have to like brush, spray, curl every single piece, or else mm -hmm. it'll just fall out um, immediately. Well, I mean, something new for me is I curl my hair now. That's true. <laughs> you do. I used to only straighten it. Straight. Well, the only reason it was straight is because my hair was so long it didn't hold a curl. And I was just like sad because I used to curl it all the time when my hair was shorter in high school and middle school. But being, um, being so long, I was like, can't have any curls. So I got the Dyson Airwrap. And that's how I curl my hair. Um, and it actually stays, so I do it while my hair is like still wet, so it's drying. And then um, I like Dyson Air Wrap curl it while it dries, and then I put a ton of um, hairspray in it. And it looks good, I would say. Yeah, it does for sure. So my foundation right now is the NARS, and I forget, it's the Sheer Glow and it's in the color 2.5 medium Sahil, and it's always like out of stock, so I have to order it on Amazon, like it's never at Ulta. This, yeah, apparently it's a popular shade, but it works for me. Yeah, I'm gonna try what everyone does on TikTok. It works. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it does work. It does work. I'm saying damn a lot. Should I, am I allowed to say that? Right? You can say whatever the I fuck you want. <laughs> I don't know why I've been saying that. Like, I don't think Damn. that's something I normally say, but I'll go in with a thick layer on the Beauty Blender and start below the cheekbone. I used to use the Flaw Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte, whatever, Tilbury <laughs> Airbrush Flawless. I really like it. It is a little bit drying, um, so just keep that in mind. But I. That one. It has a weird smell to it. Really? I don't know, like it, it has a smell. Like, not that so it's like chalk. bad. Yeah. Like chalk. Yeah, like, I feel like that and then Huda Beauty has like a smell to it, like their makeup. Yeah. Like not a bad smell, it smells good, but it's just like, sometimes you're just like not used to makeup having like a very distinct smell. It smells smell. like chalk. Like perfume almost. Yeah, perfume chalk. Yeah. All right, so now I use the Born This Way Too Faced. Um. My foundation is a little bit too late for me at the moment, but maybe not because I haven't gotten in the sun in like five days, so you never know. So I use a lot. It's very good. Um, I feel like the more the better for full glam. We're doing full glam today. Yeah, full glam. Full a glam. little bit is just not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna do one more layer of foundation. And then I just go put dots all around my face like this and then I blend I feel like our makeup's going on so seamlessly because of all the face prep that we did that we never used to do in yeah. our youth totally skipped that at our last video I think we may have used a grip, some sort of grip primer 
but no moisturizer, nothing else. I know I use a primer because I've always used primer, but I literally remember if I did put moisturizer on, it would be like the size of a Tic Tac. Like there would be no, like there was no way. Cause I used to think it made my skin like, I'm, like, I'm an oily girl, but I'm Greek. I was baptized in olive oil. So <laughs> that's why. That's why. But, um, so I used to think, well, I can't put on much moisturizer cause then I'm going to be even more greasy. Um, and you know, so I used to be like, I'll use a teeniest amount just because I was told to use it. And that was the reason why. So I'm gonna definitely need to do a lot more blending, but I'm gonna spray with some the Pore Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Spray. So I've been, for like a total glam, just spraying with something in between each makeup step. I do that too when um, I need it to last a long It's like time. a nice refresher too. Yeah, and for beach photos, we need it to last. Ow, I just poked myself. Yeah, we have so many fun things planned for today. Excited. Yeah, our girls' day is like all the time now. Yes. No boys. Just girls. Just Saturdays are for the girls. <laughs> they really are. And Fridays. We are supposed to go on a double date at some point though. Yeah. I'm excited for it. We have some ideas. Um, we're either gonna go jet skiing. For sure jet skiing. I think that'll be the first step. And then after that, maybe dinner. Probably. And um, drinks, because me and Lenny love some dirty martinis. A lot of blue cheese um, olives. Oh yeah. I'm kind of craving that. I know, me so too. Should we make that tonight? <coughs> I would be down, because honestly, a lot of people don't know how to make a dirty They're so good. So all right, now I use Born This Way concealer. Lovely. So I am going to do full contour. So I'm gonna go in with Hourglass and the shade Walnut. And I like vary. So I think for full glam I do this one and then I have this other one for like less full glam and it's in Harmony and this one sells out all the time. It's L-Y-S. Um, but I'll just do the full glam one for today. Okay, so this nice is- and chocolate brown. Beautiful. This is where I put my Concealer. I feel like this is where my makeup really changed. Like I didn't do good contour after the last video. Learned some things. Yes. Much needed. Contour is necessary. It really is. But I still feel like when I get my makeup professionally done, whenever they do contour, they just like snatch my face. Like it looks so good, always. I feel like I I know I need to like start recording like setting up an iPhone the next time I get makeup done and just watching what they do the last time I got my makeup professionally done was literally um, when I was still doing pageants and modeling that's so crazy so high school I used to get it done all the time though I mean obviously but like for shoots and obviously for the pageants but um now your chance would have been for um, my wedding, but you did your own and it looked great. Yeah. So I don't really like when people do my makeup, I feel. I feel like yeah. I do a good enough job on my own. Yeah. And also her makeup style was like kind of what I already did. So I was like, well, I can yeah. do that. If she was doing something else, I probably would have gotten it done. But I was like, I can yeah. do that. I was happy that I got my hair done for your wedding, but truthfully, I could have done that myself. I had another bridesmaid that did their own makeup also in here. I would have done more do-it-yourself for my wedding if I was local. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the time she still lived in South Carolina during her wedding. Yes, but got married in Florida. I'm gonna to do a vlog. Mm -hmm. That would have been. I should get have. ready with the girls. That it was wild. Been. That was. It was insane. So much fun. We had great weather. It was beautiful. my contour. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I was doing. One. I'm oh, doing yeah. my contour with the same, this is actually the same contour stick from four years ago. Wow. They, I don't, I don't know. They just last forever. Fancy beauty. I look 
crazy with this contour. Okay, another spray before blending the contour and it helps um, moisturize it so it blends really nice too. I think I actually do less contour than I did because now all I do is my nose and cheeks. I'm doing more for sure. So key is for me is blending the darker parts first so that way when the lighter parts it kind of blends on top of it and creates a seamless. It's okay. Now I put, this is the same, whatever this is, concealer, highlighter, matchstick from four years ago and it's um, actually out. This is, this is it. But I don't, I only use this to put one line down my nose. Oh yeah, I started doing a line down my nose too. I like it. I used to do like white down the middle and then brown on the outside, but the brown down the middle just works. Oh, you're doing that. You didn't do that. So yeah, I'm apparently done. for different nose types, you have to do a different type of contour. Oh. So I used to do that one and it didn't work for my nose type because I have like a button nose or something. You have a small nose, yeah. It looks and, good. And well, you have a small nose, but I feel like yours. Um, Mine is like a bigger. Um, is just like more pointed and mine is more round. I definitely have a great circle. nose. But we both do have small noses for sure. I almost sent this to you. I saw it on, I forget where, maybe like Instagram, but it was feet type, like how your toes are and what nationality you're more likely to be. Mine said like Roman. I know I have Greek feet. Yeah, yeah, yours was Greek and I almost sent it to you and I forgot. So anyone needs to buy feet pictures, come to me. She's got true, authentic Greek feet. Everyone loves my feet. Haven't met a single person that doesn't. <laughs> and I'm here for it. We used to make jokes about um, my feet people when we were younger. Oh my God. Yeah. Anytime we hung out, we'd be like, hang on, gotta get it a picture getting, for Lenny's feet people. It was getting out of control. Just kidding. It was. They would like zoom in on like pictures of my feet. There was a yes, whole Instagram like account of my feet. and Lenny together, and then they would only crop her feet and put those on the Instagram page. You guys thought I was famous, um, or I got famous from gaming? No. I have been well known in the feet community <laughs> since like 2015, actually even longer than that. Um, so that's actually where I originated online within the feet people community. They'd always be like, goddess Eleni, goddess Kuklitsa, goddess um, feet. And they would literally just be a whole, like many Instagram accounts, fan accounts of my feet. What's what, whatever's left on the beauty blender, I just like clean up down here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm using the Too Faced Hangover setting spray. And I'll just do one more spray for good measures of the Pore Professional Super Setting. Until the end. A little shake. Your makeup does look really good. Thanks. Did we tell them that our outfits are from Amazon? Oh yeah. No, we didn't. So, if anyone wants them, I'll link them below because they're super cute. There. Next and Eleni got me my hair clips. I don't know from where. They always have the best stuff. And I'm wearing Eleni's earrings from Amazon. Mm -hmm. I opened up a brand new pack of her earrings. She did. She did. <laughs> I, I'm not going to ever I'm wear them. <laughs> Someone okay. like gave them to me. Well, they're nice. I used to have them, but I just, I don't know where they are right now. Okay, what's next? Well, now blush. I'm doing blush. So I still use Rare Beauty Blush, um, this dark shade. This, the difference is, is I put way more on, and I use two shades. Yeah, I love a good blush moment. Lots of blush. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Um, in the shade Pinky Promise, and it's super pink and pigmented. And then I might blend some of my Rare Beauty Blush in there as well. We'll just see how it there was a couple years of my life where I never used blush. The Rare Beauty blush, this one exactly, is the exact first blush that I started wearing, like truly wearing. I have been wearing blush forever. I think that was like the first makeup thing that I ever like really started to do. So now I'm using, okay, so wait, the first shade that I put on was called Love. Now I'm using the Rare Beauty shade, Hope. Ooh, I like that shade a lot, I think. Mine's bliss and it's like a muted pink, mm -hmm. but it'll balance out the super hot pink color. I think that I heard a makeup artist say that it's really good to blend different kind of blushes together. Mm -hmm. It just creates a very nice set. Morgan is definitely the professional in it all, I feel, with all of her 
tips. I feel like I just see a lot online, like what to do. And I feel like I just like grew and more interested. And I was never really that interested before. No, you're teaching me now. <laughs> But it's weird because I feel like I already do so many of those things and I yeah. didn't know why. I think like one really important thing is to like not with influencers on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, they try and convince you to like buy a product. And I think the crazy, like a lot of these looks you can achieve with your makeup, it's just like full technique mm -hmm. in my opinion. Like yeah, there's certain products that are like viral for a reason and they're very good. But I feel like you really don't need to splurge like on certain makeup like items i feel like foundation is really important but yeah like, i do splurge on foundation like elf is so cheap and affordable and they have a great product yeah but remember when elf was like one dollar oh my god yeah. that know. was amazing i do back in my high school days all right so now i'm using the fenty beauty um universal invisimat pressed powder this is like my go-to I started wearing it when I started doing like minimal makeup. I bought like the Chanel like water bead foundation. I that. That's when I, I started really using it. It literally so gets nice. rid of your pores. Your yeah. Pores disappear when you put that on. I, since I normally do the cherry blossom, I'm gonna go in with Eleni's Huda Beauty um, in the shade Blondie. Okay, so I'm gonna be bronzing my face with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because my foundation is a little bit too pale for me. And I use one of these puffs that I bought on Amazon now for my, um, I use what's it called? Too. What is this called? Powder, yeah. I guess. Um, I think it really helps with blending the pores out. Mm. It works way better. I actually used to use a beauty blender and I think this just works. I'm going to take my head of beauty and use my, actually Olivia got me this as a present, but I'm she probably got it off Amazon the same powder thing. I used to use, I still do, it's just really dirty, um, my Beauty Blender pressed powder thing. Oh yeah, I heard those are good. Yeah, they are, they're nice. So now I just take the Huda and kinda do some extra. I only do this when I'm doing a full beat. Um, like do the doubles because, I don't know. This also makes my face look a little tanner. Yeah, it does. I did forget something. I forgot my highlighter. It's okay. Um, you can do that at the end, right? Or, um, I do liquid highlighter. Um, I also take a white jumbo pencil from NYX and I contour my nose with this eyeliner. So I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Charlotte Tilbury medium. All night, not move. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. I didn't realize how much was still on here. What's next. So I just set everything. So now I'm gonna go in with a powdered blush. So for this, I have two very pretty um, powder blushes. I have the NARS Orgasm, that's super popular, and the Dior in zero zero pink that's also super popular so i'm gonna blend the two together get a little bit of both worlds because this one's a little bit darker something i don't have yet is powdered blush wow i like to put it after i do like the dewy glossy layer of my makeup and i like to go over everything and then bring it up above my eyes for a nice lifted look there's this funny video where these girls are like, this is how you do your blush and you start like going all the way back yeah. over like people are saying how much you like lift it, I guess. I don't know. I, I keep seeing people do that and I'm always like, I'm like, what? I'm like what does that even mean? Okay. okay, and then this is such a pretty rosy pink color. It's really pretty. So expensive though. I think this was like $30, which is a lot. I'm going in with um, the Rare Beauty Highlight. Blooper. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do another spray just to bring some hydration back to my face. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I remember I used to use the Gold Digger one, but now Ooh. I upgraded to this like diamond it's one. Super pretty. This one's called um, How Many Carrots. 
I how many have... carrots? Oh. <laughs> well. Do you really want me to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> she has that bling. All right, now basically, oh, I forgot my eyebrows. Normally I do that um, before I do my foundation. It's okay though. All I use is um, this and then clear e.l.f. gel. And that's it. I did a little bit of my, I literally don't have eyebrow gel. I use a little bit of this for a little grip and just brush my eyebrows up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with more highlighter. Golden Hour, Sephora. The finishing touch-ups. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow and take some of the shades and literally just do underneath my eye. I think I'm gonna bronze up just a little tiny bit. So I'm just gonna use this bronzer, lens bronzer. We're gonna try the Tilbury and just smell okay. <coughs> Lips I like to change up a lot, but um, not a lot, but I like have a couple different looks that I like to do. I think I'm gonna go for a really new look today. Now I'm taking Moon Dust and I'm gonna take my favorite shade, Cosmic Cowgirl. Look at how pretty oh, this wait. is. I have Spouse, or Space Cowboy, Ooh. but that's a glittery shade. So I'm gonna go over that on my... I have Emo outfit. Cowboy, Cowgirl Rider. Okay. Now I am going to put some one last coat of my setting spray on. Okay. We'll just take the L'Oreal Telescopic. I buy really cheap mascara because I just, I truly don't care. Um, I only wear lashes, and when I'm not wearing lashes, I'm at work, and I just put the cheap mascara on. So this is what's gonna be going um, underneath my eyes, like on my lips. I feel like people are gonna be staring at us at the grocery store, because we are all glammed up. We should be putting on our cowgirl outfits. We really some should. Stairs. Oh my gosh, yeah. The last time I did that for a photo shoot, I got stared at. It's my favorite thing to dress up. Like, yeah. I wear my cowgirl clothes all the time. Dragging Morgan. Pretty. So for lips, I use Charlotte Tilbury. What shade? Um, I do Pillow Talk Medium. Me too. Not medium though. I do Just like regular, regular Pillow Talk too. This is regular Pillow Talk, and then this is Pillow Talk Medium. Yes. I have a cheap drugstore lip liner essence, and it's a really pretty neutral brown. I like Pillow Talk both of them, but the medium is more for me. You know, you do look good with the both. Recently saw a video that says that if you are cool tone skin, that like red lip, you get a cool tone red lip. Mm. So I've been recently wanting to try a red lip, but cool tone and Fenty Beauty makes one. Ooh. So I might invest in that and try it. We should go to Sephora and try it on. I know, I want to. I wonder if they make a mini of it. Cause you know, I like my minis. I really need Trial. to start buying minis. Maybe I'd go in with Pillow Talk. Let's compare dark versus light. Oh yeah, it's pretty different. Mm -hmm. Yours is way more pinky. Too. I just forget how no, different it's like they are. Red in person. Yeah, it's like almost like like it's not red. It's like a reddish brown. Yeah. I feel. Um, I always forget how different Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Medium is. When I put Pillow Talk Medium on, I think I look better. I'm gonna finish with the gloss, Summer Fridays Lip Butter in the color Vanilla Beige. It's also like a nudie brown color. I'm done. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? I feel like we looked like babies in the last video and now we're like 
grown and sexy. Yes. Um, but yeah, so this is our final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you want more tutorials like this, just let us know. See you next time. See you next time.